Today is September the 12th, 9-12, and our title is 3DT. 3DT, okay? We use a couple techniques to make a T kind of pop out and obviously look 3D today. 9-12, let's get started. So what we're going to start with is just a basic stick T, okay? Right in the middle of the paper. What we need to do next is I'm going to put a line down here, just come off of this a little bit, horizontally. I'm going to come up and I'm going to put one a little bit from here, vertically. Let me turn this light down a little bit for you. Okay. And a little bit right here, just like that. Okay. Now I just need to connect around this T. So this point to this point connect just like that okay then you'll come up to right about here straight up and down connect these lines same thing on the other side bring it up connect these lines try to make sure that when you're drawing these lines that they're straight and that they're even okay you want to try to keep the space between each part of the stick even. So this side, this side should be the same size as this side over here. Okay, try to get as close as possible. Okay, now we're going to add the 3D part in. We're going to connect in some areas. At this point, we're going to connect diagonally here and here, just like a little triangle, point to point. Same thing on the other side, here to here. Same thing on the bottom, here to here. And two more spots we have that to connect are going to be here to here, angle it, and here to here, just like that. Okay, so now it's already starting to look 3D. Let's add some simple shading and then we'll be done. We're going to do a light gray shading on the left right here. And we're also going to do that underneath. So right along this spot, just a light gray. And along here, that's going to continue, just like that. Now I'm going to put another one here, down the left side, and a little bit on the bottom. Okay, and that's all the shading for the actual letter. So you've pretty much got it on the left, along the bottom part here, all down the left side, and on the bottom. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to create a bubble or a little outline around the T. And inside this outline we're going to shade completely dark. Okay, So just a solid black shading. How I like to do it is I like to start along my edges first and then go out. That way I can be really careful towards the edge, but yet when I get closer to the outside I can be a little more loose and work a lot faster going towards the outside. So I line it up and do it kind of slow right there and then get a little speed as I move out. So straight up and down here. You're just filling in that bubble with a dark solid shading. Right here. And one more spot right here. And we're done. So I'd like you to make one of these today. Please make sure that you erase any lines or marks that you don't need. Watch your proportion. Make sure the sizes match where they need to. Don't forget to add your angles in, in these areas. You've got your shading, solid light gray, and then your solid dark shading all the way around. 